Hi, my name is Azat Agha. I work as a shelter officer for uh, Save the Children here in the Bekaa region. We've been operating here for now for seven months. Um, you know, uh, Syrian refugees have been coming in by the thousands, uh, 300, 400 families per week. They can either live in uh, tents, when they, they just put up a tent from scrap material from anywhere they can find it, um, or they can live in unfinished buildings, which are basically, you know, building sites, uh, no doors, no windows, very vulnerable to weather conditions. We have found that um, kits of uh, timber and um, tarpaulin, maybe uh, screws, uh, some uh, some you know planks of wood that they can use, um, and this is for weatherproofing for the for the uh, tents uh, tents uh, that they are living in. So um, here we are in a tent settlement. Uh, we are with the shelter team who is going from tent to tent, seeing the needs uh, for each of these uh, tents. So um, so what they're basically saying, the technician is um, he he made the recommendation of. Uh, maybe some support uh, from the outside with the, with the planks that we saw. Um, this is very flimsy. This could fall down in the winter. Uh, flood flood waters could come through the floor, as you can see. Um, there is no protection at all. So um, this is what the transparent tarpaulin is for. Um, there's also some cracks in the wood. This is really uh, this is really bad quality wood. This is really not not adequate for this. Um, again, the tarpaulin, at least at least two layers they need because in the winter it could it could you know overflow with water, uh, but now in the summer they are telling us that uh, there are, there have been uh, outbreaks of diarrhea and and problems, and and this is where the uh, you know this is where the uh, hygiene kits come in, the sanitation kits come in. Um, their bathrooms are close to their you know to their kitchens, also very unsanitary um, as you can see. It's actually open to, to both. Uh, they don't have ovens. They don't have. Yeah, it's 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 pretty bad here. <laughs> We're gonna help with um, you know with the oven, with uh, some mattresses, uh, blankets for the winter. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be a cold winter. Now we're at one of the unfinished buildings, you know, the building sets we were talking about. And um, the shelter team is continu continuing the assessment. Um, as you can see, the bathrooms are, they don't have toilet seats. Um, no water source for flushing or anything. Uh, as you can see here, uh, they have futons, but they're probably, they told me it was, uh, it was from the uh, owners downstairs, from the local community. Um, no windows, no doors, uh, no privacy at all. Now we are kind of upscaling, so uh, it's not going to just be uh, kits for uh, tents. It's going to be mattresses, blankets of course. From now on, uh, we will be able to provide um, newcomers, new arrivals, with uh, not just fixed kits, but maybe uh, full tent kits uh, that they can build on their own.